Okay, we're gonna do, who, who do you think is wrestler of the year? You talking about for the Observer Awards? Yes. Well, I would, I would give it to John Moxley. Would you? I think he's the favorite. Um, I figure when I was thinking about this, um, I mean, John Moxley is is a favorite. Um, I think McIntyre is is a candidate. There's, you know, it's such a weird year. Um, early in the year, I thought like Will Ospreay, you know, when he had that match with Zack Saber, and he was, I knew it was going to be his year. Um, but it's just, it was just a weird year. Um, I think Kota Bushi more than Naito, you know, even though Naito won in Japan, like Naito won the title and everything, you know, at, at, at the Tokyo Dome and won both belts. So in that sense, like for Japanese wrestler of the year, based on kayfabe, he won the first guy to hold both belts. One, you know, he beat Okada at the Tokyo Dome, you know, ending the the great reign of Okada. But um, I just was not. I, I I I just can't go with Naito this year. I didn't think like his championship matches. I mean, the Evil series. One, I liked one of the Evil matches, but most of them I just didn't really like. And um, so I would, you know, I mean, it's it's. If I was going to do a New Japan guy, it would be Ibushi because he had the he won G one. He had the great G one. Um, and, um, so th that would kind of be my pick there, but, um, uh, Moxley, you know, AEW had a lot of success this year, uh, under very trying circumstances and he was the flagship guy and he delivered on every big, in every big match, you know, he didn't have any bad ones or anything close to that. McIntyre didn't, I think McIntyre delivered as well. Um, and you know, McIntyre had every bit the same trying situation, you know, going in there with, you know, supposed to, you know, his last I think his last performance might have been Brooklyn right before WrestleMania, where he did those all those Claymore kicks on Brock Lesnar in that angle. All right, Dave's back. He did extinguish the dog barking. I, I can't extinguish it. Well, he tried. Well, we got, uh, as you noted, uh, Drew. But the thing with, with Drew, Drew was awesome this year. He really was. But the thing with WWE is it's always... You've got two champions. You've got a Raw champion. You've got a SmackDown champion. No champion is really carrying the company. It's always like the company carries the company. The company's going to go up or down like it's going to go up or down. And you can be a great champion on Raw, but at the end of the day, it's like, are you really making a difference for the entire WWE in that position? And I don't think the answer is yes for anybody. Um, I mean, Roman Reigns... I think definitely made a ratings difference when he came back, but um, he was gone for but so much of the year. But not enough to change the company or or the oh nobody can do that. Or... No, 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 nobody can do that. No. I mean, the, the the company is all about momentum in the sense of you know, um, whatever it is. I mean, like every now and then an angle might help slightly, but it's essentially the momentum going downward is what it is, and um, you know, it's all outside forces. So. Um, uh, you know, you know, it's a good choice. Actually, is uh, Go Shiozaki. Um Actually, it's a hell of a choice. Um, the thing that we're, we're, I don't think he can win because it's too small of a promotion. But I mean, he's been a world champion in his promotion all year, and he's had like very unique matches and 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 some really great matches. But um, you know, again, it's like it's a small company. It's it's. Um, I mean, it's it's a it's a great job in a small company, and, and guys like that pretty much never win it's always you know it's usually going to be it's going to be wwe in new japan most years you know modern years and then after that um you know obviously AEW now last year with chris jericho and going forward obviously AEW you know can can win um but it's it's pretty difficult i mean i suppose you know somebody from from mexico could win but i um you know it's only happened once and it would it'd take like a extraordinary year for somebody to win from Mexico, as it did the one year Mystico won. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. 
working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.